Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 guys, this is part number 3 of our Let's Play series. If you missed the previous two parts, I would recommend checking them out at the link in the description. We built this wide body Jaguar F-Type last episode and it is incredible. So in the last episode, we went through and we did a bunch of races to build as much influence as possible. In today's episode, you join me as we are only one- where- where is it? We're only 1,000 influence away from going into winter, and that is how we are going to start it up today. So if I come over here, there's actually a beauty spot just behind this wall that I can smash down, and we'll actually get some influence from going to this beauty spot. It's as simple as just driving up, doing your thing, and your guy does his little dance moves. I gotta go in, see what character customization we got, because we've been doing a bunch of wheel spins, leveling up a bunch, and we've been getting a bunch of prizes, so I gotta go in and see what new character customization there is. Don't know why that sentence was so difficult for me. Anyways, our influence is 100,000. We have qualified, qualified for winter. Horizon winter season. Conditions and competition will be fierce. Woolly seat covers and hot water bottles are optional. All right, so we got to go to the Horizon Festival now. We could drive over there, but we're going to do our cheeky little thing and fast travel there completely for free. Anyways, in case you guys didn't know, we are currently doing two different giveaways for Forza Horizon 4. We're doing a giveaway for a copy of Forza Horizon 4, which is linked down below, but we are also giving away this very special Forza Horizon hoodie. This is actually signed by a bunch of the developers who worked on the game, so uh, if you'd like to win this, there will be a link down below. There's actually only two of these in existence. One we are giving away right now, and the next one we are going to be giving away for the charity live stream in a couple of months anyways let's head over to winter snow problem achievement qualify for horizon winter now here's the thing right i'm from canada i'm born in the great white north we know how to deal with snow here if there's one thing that i'm gonna be good at in this game it will probably be this and i've been saving a lot of the off-roading races for this specific reason i thought hey off-road races are cool and all but why don't we off-road race in the snow? I'm putting together our winter showcase. If you can think of a driver with a little bit of experience, a lot of influence, and a train to catch, be sure to let me know, yeah? Alright, thank you, Kira. So, we are 50,000 influence away from this showcase. Now, we've got a bunch of different events around. All the way up here, we have our next rally course, or our dirt racing series, as they call it. But we've also got this one all the way up here, which is a cross-country race. So... What I think I need to do today is... Uh, funny colors, alright, the game's getting used to what season it is. We gotta go in and build ourselves an off-road car that we can use in both of those seasons, or both of those events. So you know what, maybe we start off with an upgrade hero again. It went quite well with the Jag F-Type. Let's see if there's anything good in here that we could use for off-roading. Huh. There are the new wide body or the off-road body kits in this game that I completely forgot about. And they're actually available for a couple of different cars. We could take one of my favorite SUVs out there right now, the McCann Turbo. It's a hundred grand, but we've got 400 grand to spend, so let's do it. So, paint the thing bright baby blue. I'm digging it, and let's see what upgrades are available. This is when we really cross fingers because I don't know what's available for this car. I'm praying for an off-road body kit. Let's take a look. Over here we go. Body kit presets. We got one. It's- Oh, it is a wide body kit. It is the off-road body kit. How crazy is that? That's actually five grand already. Okay. What else do we have? We've got front bumpers. <gasps> That's- that's meaty. We've got a winch and a full bull bar. We've also got a- a- a, a race one? Okay. I- I think we're gonna go full on with the off-road life for today. So let's add that one. We've got a little rear wing, which... No, we're not gonna add that. And we've got- Yes, we have that as well. We've got the light bars on the roof. How sick! That is seriously awesome. Alright, so now what we need is we need to come into our tires and... We are gonna give it proper snow tires. Look at those tires. They are so meaty. They are enormous. Let's give it more grip because as if the Grand Tour taught us anything, this car will struggle in the snow. Those are 345s. <laughs> That's huge. 
And we need some off-road style rims, so, uh... Yeah, I don't really know what to go with for that. We can toss some rotiforms on, but my problem is, is that... They're 21 stock, you can't make them any smaller, so... Looks a bit strange. Other than that, I guess we'll give it some rally suspension and raise the thing up as well. How freaking cool. Let's give it some weight reduction. We're really gonna be flying around and jumping this thing. Maybe we just upgrade the exhaust. I mean, a McCann's not slow. It's got 400 horsepower. And, I mean, hey, well, well we're here. Let's... I guess we'll upgrade the turbos. You can't complain. That is... That is one hell of an off-roader. That's awesome. I seriously cannot believe that I forgot about those off-road body kits. I am so happy I spotted them. Hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying too, we could always come in here and go with a little bit of this too. Oh man, that looks crazy. This is a cool car. This is one of the coolest cars I have ever made. Oh my God. All right, so where are these two races? There's one all the way up here next to the now frozen lake in Forza Horizon 4. That's a, oh, that's so cool. So, now here's my thing. I was very worried about getting stuck in in like seasons because obviously when you're playing around in snow, it's quite difficult to plow all of the roads. So I was worried that when you're driving around on the pass like this, there wouldn't be very much grip. Now, maybe this isn't the best car to test the amount of grip that we have just because of our meaty mega tires, our our all-wheel drive and all of that. But maybe at the end of today's video, we'll take out like the F-Type that we built last episode. It's on race tires, it's a proper race car. I'm interested to see how that thing does, like in the snow. I mean, obviously it's not gonna work in deep snow like this, but I, I don't know how it will work like in sort of like paved streets, if that makes any sense. Wait, can we actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna drive across the lake, how cool. Oh, that's so sick. Our car looks so good out here, too. Oh, I am so happy with what we did. I'm, honestly, I am so shook by how this car looks. It just looks incredible. So what are we going up and why is there an I-8? Why is DJ in an I-8? Okay, well, we're still in the hardest difficulty. I was talking about it in, uh, in the previous episode that I had some trouble on the hardest difficulty. I, I didn't win a single race last episode, if you go and check that video out. The AI was just mega quick. Oh my god, there's a Turag. That Turag looks so good. Huh. Um, but yeah, it, I, I was saying, I'm very good at the off-roading stuff. If I say that as I miss a checkpoint, of course. I don't know why, but there's just something about off-roading that works for me and sort of makes sense. And it just, it just clicks, you know? But yeah, anyways, all of this to say is I'm pretty good at off-roading, so hopefully we can do well today. I definitely have the right car for the job, so I cannot blame the car today. The part that actually is really nice about this is that it's not like Blizzard Mountain snow. Although it is snowy, it's not like blizzards in your face every two seconds you can't see where to go. It's like a nice winter day, if that makes any sense. Like, being in Canada, this is what Canada looks like most of the time. Like, when you're out in the wilderness, you've just got these trees everywhere, huge plains of land, and just snow everywhere. Like, it actually looks really, really good. I mean, I still don't know if I'm gonna really like the whole getting locked into a season type of thing, but I mean, it's just a matter of time, and for right now, I've been enjoying the absolute hell out of this game. I mean, hey, we're still in the tutorial mode. This tutorial mode is about six hours long. So we'll see what happens when we're done that. Speaking of which, I know when we do finish the tutorial, the club is finally going to be open. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure you join the AR12 club when the game officially comes out for you guys. If you have the game already, feel free to join one of the four AR-12 clubs, all of the info's on the screen, and, uh, you can, you can do that. Anyways, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. That was so, so good. First place in the McCann. That was amazing. That, I love that car. My dude's doing his dance. Well earned. You know it. We gotta go to customize our character, too. We cannot forget to do that. We're over 300 grand again. That's really nice. We get some good influence, okay? We were level 7 before, our, so our main level's at the bottom, we level up to level 8, I think we get a wheel spin for that, so we'll check that out. There's my wheel spin, okay, perfect. Let's see, cross our fingers, we could do with some more money, or, yes, 
the Golf R from 2014. Now, I know that car has an incredible wide body kit for the thing. So I'm super excited to jump into that and do something with it. Now that's worth a ticket to the next round. Kira put me in charge of the dirt series to help find our next dirt racing champion. And from what I've seen of your driving, I reckon you've got what it takes. Yes, Keep thank on you, Alex. Keep like this, and you'll earn that title quicker than you think. Thank you, Alex. Much appreciated, my man. So, I did want to come all the way up here. I've been promising to do this for a really long time. The cross-country events. Let's go take a look at that one. Actually, I think I got two wheel spins from that. Where? Yeah, look, I've got I've got more wheel. Wait, do I have a super wheel spin? No. I, I, got a, I got two more wheel spins to do, though. Let's do it. It's really great when we get money. It's cool when we get horns. Or a Trans Am that I didn't really want. But okay, it's all good. We got another wheel spin. Drop us a million credits. Drop us a million credits. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now, actually, that's 170,000. Now, because I have VIP, does that double? No. All right, so let's go ahead to that cross-country event. That's five miles that away. This oh, look at the snow. Oh, my God. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Wow. Yep. Can I open the photo mode, please? That's so cool. It's like, oh, my God. This McCann is amazing. Look at this though. I was talking about it in the last episode. When we got to autumn, it was like, you know when they say seasons change everything? It's like, I have no idea where I am for the simple fact that nothing looks like it used to look. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, seriously. I've been recording all of these videos back to back, so I don't have any feedback on you, on what you guys have been saying just yet, but I hope, I hope you guys have been enjoying them. If there are things you want me to do, let me know in the, in the comments. <gasps> Down ah, below. I was wondering when I'd see you from my cross country series. Hello. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. Hey, before we kick off round one, let's get you set up with some new wheels, shall we? Okay, so uh, we got a couple good options here. We got one of my favorite cars ever, the Range Rover SVR. We've got a Baja Bug, and we've got the Power Wagon. I think we gotta go with my favorite car, the Range Rover, although it will probably break down, as all of the cars we've chosen probably will. It's just cool, okay? You can actually see it's already on snow tires. Did you see the tires there? They were super, super thick. Now, I don't actually know if we're gonna need to use this in the race. Like, if I go to solo, and then I just blueprint my own race- Actually, it's on Sport Utility Heroes. I- I can just take my mechanic. I don't even need to take the SVR. Perfect! Oh, oh, okay. That's a starting point for an off-road race, if I've ever seen one. We're legit starting in the shrubs! What, what is that about? Okay. Well, let's go see what we got. There's a bunch of people. Again, then now they've taken more sort of off-roady stuff. Like, there's an X6, there's a Range Rover up there. This is more what I was expecting when I came into the off-roading stuff. There's another very nice Turing. Please don't flip, please don't flip. All right, I know our McCann's lifted. It's not gonna be great through the jumps, but I'm pushing. That's a pretty big one. What the hell? I d Since when is- when? Why are we putting jumps in the middle of races now? Okay, this race actually if you were paying attention in the last episode We actually unlocked this race in the last episode, but I was waiting until this episode to actually like play around with it because I wanted to do all the off-road stuff back to back and This race was supposed to be in the autumn. However, we're just doing it in the winter and it works It's it's really really cool the way this game works and like I know, I know I said that I would probably be annoyed at the whole seasons thing, but until, like, for right now, I'm cool with it. I mean, I'm still in the beginning. I'm still in the prologue, so we'll see what happens when I get into, like, the proper full game. Send it. Send it. Send it. In the McCann. Another McCann. I'm racing another McCann. We get it boggled up with the gear changes. Run into Tendi, but we're gonna take it. Oh man, after saying I'm supposed to be good at the off-road stuff, it scares me because you guys expect more from me. <laughs> but we get the victory, thank you. Let's see what we get from that one. We're getting some really solid credits, like 14,000 per race. We're at half a mil. Again. That's amazing. We're almost able to afford that other house. We gotta go house hunting, by the way. We gotta see what's around the map. Alright, so we're cross-country round two. We're nearly level nine, actually. We get 10 grand for that. 
If we get to round three, we get a... That was a Jeep uh, Trailhawk. That's so sick. Or tra tra Trailhawk or Trail Cat? Trail Cat. So let's go do this one. Arthur's Seat Cross Country. When did, when did this happen? When did I get another wheel spin? Like, what? <laughs> I'm just being thrown wheel spins for some- Maybe it's because I did my first race in cross country. That would make sense. I'm getting some pink converse. Oh, yeah, so okay. Where is this board? I would like my bonus board. Wait. What the hell? What the hell? I'm on top of a train. Yo, look at this. It's like a proper train yard. That's so cool. Like, I know we're not supposed to be exploring in these videos, but that's- that is awesome. Okay, one of the things I keep realizing, I every so often I get my bearings again. I know on this street, there's an area, uh, I think it's probably like one of these corners, and you can actually own a business. I think it's the car rental thing. I spoke about it a little bit in the last episode. But we gotta figure out how to do that. We haven't been shown that yet, so uh, we'll figure that out soon, hopefully. Anyways, let's keep banging these races out in our Porsche McCann. I am loving this car. All right, here we go. Race number three in the Porsche McCann. Let's see what we got. We're going up against all of the off-roady stuff again, so I doubt I'll have an easy victory. Well, let's go push them all out of the way. So there, there's actually a top tip. We've already learned something from today. If you want an advantage going into the dirt racing stuff, take a proper off-road car and do them in the middle of the winter because everyone just brings like rally cars instead of proper off-road stuff. There you go. Little tips already, haha. -ha. This is also a crazy course. We just went up the side of a mountain. That's, that's pretty cool. We've also got some more jumps. Please don't flip. Ooh, I saw that coming a mile away. All right, and up to six as we get to the halfway point of this race. This is where, oh, uh, this race has two different ways. Okay, I see, they want you to avoid. They went through a tunnel. They went through, rewind, I wanna go through the tunnel. Screw going over the tunnel, I wanna go through it. And the world's most useless use of the rewind feature goes to me. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're jumping onto us. I'm still in sixth place. They actually get a bad landing from that. And I go up to fourth as we're running through walls. I don't have any split times or anything, but he is booking it. He's gonna break real hard for this corner. I'm just gonna get a little dab of the brakes almost. It's not gonna be enough though. That guy was fast. He's like a ways away from me and everyone else. Man, oh, oh, oh block. Illegal blocking. No. All right, that, that. Note to self. Don't try to do illegal blocking because you will go into a barrier and uh, karma will get you. Well played, 19 grand for that. That's quite good. I wasn't expecting though to get so destroyed by the AI. There we go. We get the tra trail cat. There we go. Very nice. So we've unlocked that. If we get to the next round, we get another cool emote. I'm digging it. So we are halfway to the winter showcase already. Good stuff. I want to focus a lot of time on doing like the the speed traps and, and stuff like that because I know you get a lot, like a lot of influence from those. So I want to do some of those in today's video as well. Look at this though. It's like a winter wonderland out here. There's like barely a tree in sight. Oh, the stream's still going. And it's just like, it's just snowy everywhere. I'm sorry I'm having a crisis in, in this episode. It's, it's very Canadian, okay? I'm in a Porsche McCann with wrap camo, with an off-road body kit, in the middle of the snow. Wait a second. This is a cross-country race, but for some reason, I'm going up against some plebs in some plebby cars again. Like, there's an Audi TT. I mean, it is all-wheel drive, but still. The Mercedes 190E. I'm just saying that wouldn't work in the snow. Like, you saw the amount of struggle that I had last episode keeping up, or the last race I had keeping up. It's not the case in this one. The AIs just ruin themselves taking silly cars. Oh my god, we're along the beach. We're on the beach in the snow. That's so cool. I've never actually been to a beach in snowy weather before. That's very cool. So there's still sand everywhere. Oh, that's a jump. Sheep! Watch out, sheep! Race cars coming. Well, maybe not race cars coming through, but you know what I mean? Like, look at that. We've already taken first place. We are flying through this now. Oh, we're going back down to the ocean. That is a cool jump. Looking directly at the ocean. You get a little scared of that one. Oh my god, we barely slowed down through the water in this thing. I, I honestly did not think 
that I would like the snow this much. Are, are these sand dunes in the snow? I think they are. Look at all this influence I'm getting as well. That's so cool. I guess influence is just another word for XP as well. I guess they ditched the, uh, the XP name and they've gone with influence because that's how I'm leveling up and stuff. Well, that's gonna do that race. That was... I didn't realize how close second place was, but... Good victory! So let's see, we get some nice influence once again. Are we getting another wheel spin? We're actually level 9, so I think we actually got one before. I just didn't realize it. So we should probably go do that wheel spin. I get it at the beginning of the game, you're leveling up super, super quick. I am just getting thrown stuff though. Right of the Valkyrie's horn! Hell yes! I mean, it's not as good as money, but I will definitely take the horn. That's awesome. So now I did say I wanted to test out this thing, my V8 rear wheel drive race car Jaguar F-Type with a wide body kit on the thing. It's on race tires, but I don't know how well this thing is gonna work. So let's take this thing all the way- Should we do a street race? I mean, we could. Or, I mean, we could do a proper street race over here. So let's see how this thing works in the snow. Now, my fear is that there was gonna be zero grip for race cars like this in the snow. It's just you race tires and snow and a wide body kit and a car this low doesn't mix with snow. So, it was something that was scaring me a little bit, but I want to take the drive all the way out there. I want to do this race in the snow and see what happens. Okay, so little F-Type, I genuinely have no idea how this is gonna work. I don't know what cars we're gonna be against. We're against a BAC Mono, a Bentley. What is that up there? I did spend a lot of money on this. Oh, that's the TVR! Boys, that is the TVR! That is so cool! Alright, so let's go F-Type. So, Immediately, I can tell you this. One, I'm being much more cautious in the snow than I was in the summer season. It's definitely a little bit scary driving around a car like this and just seeing snow everywhere and driving on the snow. Because it's- I don't know if it's in my, if it's in my head that I'm just going to spin out more or if I, if I can actually feel the car spinning out more. On a road like this, though, that's completely paved, it feels fine. No problems at all. It's when you get, like the mixed surface. It becomes tricky. This is when I get a little scared. You see how the road's not exactly paved perfectly? Like there's some snow all over the road? You can already see the car slipping around a little bit more. It doesn't have the same- yeah, I'm racing against an Audi Quattro rally car. I know which one I would rather take for this. I mean, it was a definitely a big ask for this Jag to do this, and I mean, it's done pretty well, but with the non-paved sections, it is... it's tough. Oh, one guy crashed. Perfect, thank you! That's gonna be sixth place for me and across the line. Eh, not my best finish ever. So we get 17,000 credits. Can't complain with that too much. We get some good influence. I think what I'm gonna do between episodes is I'm gonna go in and try to do... <gasps> There's the R34, boys. If you watched my car list video, I specifically called out the R34 as not being on the list. It's because certain cars are being used for things like that. You get them from leveling up and doing certain series and stuff like that. That is why you can't find every single car on the car list. Anyways, we get an SVT Cobra from our wheel spin. That's not terrible, but yeah. Between episodes, I think I'm gonna go in, do some of like the danger signs and like the, the speed traps and drift zones to get a little bit more influence because we're still 13,000 influence away from the showcase event that we've got going on. So until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon with some more Forza Horizon 4. I'll see you guys then. Bye!